Hi, Johnny here. Welcome to Birdland and Happy New Year. As always, Birdland has continued its programming. Every Sunday, the Afro-Latin Jazz Orchestra, directed by Arturo O'Farrell at 8.30 and 10.30. Without further ado, please welcome the orchestra. Thank you. 
My name is Arturo O'Farrell. I'm the founder and artistic director of the Afro Latin Jazz Orchestra and the Afro Latin Jazz Alliance. And it's my thrill to welcome you to Virtual Birdland Week 92, a weekly streaming series that we've been doing since the pandemic began and that we've used really to help us be a part of your lives if you can't get to New York to see us play. Um, and we're very, very delighted to be here, we're very delighted to present, to serve you with our music. What you just heard was the great Charles Mingus, Goodbye Pork by Hat, arranged by Miguel Blanco and featuring Rachel Therrien and Rafi Malkiel. Um, this next piece was an original composition of my dear friend from Palmas de Soriano, uh, Marcos Fernandez. It's a piece that he wrote, it's a beautiful piece called Danzón a la Habana.
Danson a La Habana, featuring Andrew Andron and Brian Davis. This next piece is a lot of fun, and there's a story behind it that I gotta tell you. The original legend was that Chico and his best friend, Oscar Jaimes, were, uh, were working one night late at a bar. And the, sto the legend is that Chico would write out the score and Oscar would begin to generate parts. But the real part of the story is that they apparently were sharing a picture of margarita. And as the piece progresses, and as the night goes on, it gets weirder and weirder and weirder. I don't know if that legend is true, but you decide for yourself. This is variations on a well-known theme.
Variations on a well-known theme featuring Bam Rodriguez, Alejandro Aviles, Larry Bustamante, and Carly Carlos Maldonado. This next piece is amazing. It's taken live from the Plaza Jazz Festival, which they are celebrating in Havana right now. Even as we speak, the Plaza Jazz Festival in, in Havana is in full swing. And so we're taking a, a trip back in time to Jazz Plaza 2014, when the Afro-Latin Jazz Orchestra was privileged to be able to present on the, in the Teatro Mella. And this is a piece that uh, was written by a wonderful composer who I love, wonderful pianist who plays amazing. His name is Alexis Bosch, and this is Guajira Simple. Uh, the soloists are in Alejandro Aviles, David de Jesus, Vince Cherico, um, and also appearing that night was uh, Peter Brainen, Jason Marshall, John Bailey, Jonathan Powell, Jim Seeley, Frank Cohn, Tokunori Kajiwara, uh, Alexis Bosch, Greg August, Tony Rosa. Again, taken from a performance live at the 2014 Jazz Plaza, Guajira Simple by Alexis Bosch.
Alexis Bosch's incredible Guajita Simple. This next piece is written by my dear friend, someone I love very much, who I've been playing with for so many decades. I know him, I know his family. Um, we love you, David Bixler. This is David Bixler's Heptagonesque.
Romanesque, featuring myself on the piano, Ivan Renta, and Quesel Jimenez. Um, we have had such a lovely time performing. I look back over the years, I look back over the uh, virtual Birdland series, and look back over, and such, a, such an incredible adventure in my life creating the Afro Latin Jazz Orchestra and the Afro Latin Jazz Alliance. And sometimes I like to think of it as my greatest composition, but you know what? It is not my greatest composition because it's, it's a community that built this thing. It's a community of people that labor tirelessly on behalf of all of us. This is not my work. This is the work of my staff, the work of the incredible musicians of the Afro Latin Jazz Orchestra, our master teachers. This is the work of so many people. And I'm just so humbled by the fact that we're able to be together to create a fire, a campfire around which so many people gather. Please consider donating to the Afro Latin Jazz Alliance, AfroLatinJazz.org. Help us keep this thing going because it's an amazing village that is building so many great things for so many people and so many people that need to be thanked. First of all, I want to thank our incredible video production team, our associate artistic director, Andrew Andron, our video editors, Brian Davis and Astrid Asmundson, and our great sound engineer, Peter Carl. Um, I'm always amazed by my staff, um, the people who help to keep things running. Marietta Ulasi, our executive director, Andrea Thompson, our director of development, uh, Eric Toller, our director of programming and production. Uh, Zach O'Farrell, our Director of Education. Stefan Ande Mikhail, our Director of Operations. Our Marketing and Communications Manager, Felipe Tristan. Our Music Administration Manager, Andrew Andron. And our Individual Giving and Board Relations Associate, Isabel Rolston. These are the folks that keep things happening. I'm telling you, there's so many people who come together to make this thing happen. We have on the saxophones, Roman Filiu, Addison Evans, Alejandro Aguilas, Ivan Renta, Jasper Dutz, Livio Almeida, and Larry Bustante, our incredible saxophone section. Amazing. Our trombones are Rafi Malkiel, Mario Bilson, Abdul Rahman, uh, Mayor Earl McIntyre, and Ben Barnett. Don't forget those, that's an afro Latin jazz trombone section. The trumpets are Brian Davis, Seneca Black, Adam O'Farrell, Rachel Thayer, and Walter Cano. And in our rhythm section, Vince Cherico with the drums, Bam Rodriguez on the bass, Casey Jimenez on the congas, Carly Carlos Maldonado on the bongo and bell, and myself on piano, and Andrew Andron on the piano. Um, yeah, I've been, thinking, I've been thinking a lot about this, man. Uh, some very exciting things are happening for us. We've announced that we're going to be part of a, a building project. And we're going to create a, 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 a place called the Afro Latin Music and Arts and Community Center, which is going to be a, a, a place devoted to the community in Spanish Harlem to present, uh, to, to, to celebrate life with, with kids and older adults and to give music education. So many incredible things. This has started on my kitchen table with my wife and I pasting parts, I mean, you know, uh, taping parts and buying cookies and water for the rehearsals, and look at this. This didn't happen by me, it's not me, it's a village. It takes a village. We are a village. We are gathered around this campfire called Afro-Latin Jazz, and it's just an entry point. It's an entry point that really deals with so many different things. I'm so grateful that, that this is actually happening. And I'm so grateful that your presence is here. And I'm so grateful for Johnny Valente for giving us a home for 26 years. We are physically at the club on Sundays at 8.30 and 10.30 in addition to our virtual presence. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Birdman. Thank you, Afro Latin Jazz staff. Thank you, Afro Latin Jazz musicians. And most of all, thank you for being with us. Thank you for listening to our music. Thank you for allowing us the privilege of practicing our craft for you. Um, before we close out, I want to remind you that uh, the Omicron's out there. People are still getting very, very sick. And uh, and you need to be, you need to make sure you're safe. You need to make sure you're vaccinated, boosted, masked up, and taking care of one of them. Six feet apart is better than six feet under. Test negative, stay positive. We're going to close with the indescribably wonderful Malika Sada singing the song that uh, Machito and Graciela made famous uh, so many years ago. What a what a wonderful way to end this show. This is BDB Kumbi. Take care. Kumbi, 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 kumbi
We hope you've enjoyed this evening's performance, and hopefully we'll see you here at Birdland where the orchestra performs live. Until next week, be safe. Good night. <laughs>